This is the new state-of-the-art Konica Minolta Gemini Star 3 projector, part of the multi-million dollar upgrade and renovation to the Vanderbilt Planetarium in Centerport. We got an exclusive first look at the new system. We're going to have a world-class planetarium right here in our backyards in Huntington. And we're finishing that up. It should be open in March. And uh, we have about 150 seats in there, uh, full dome video, new star projector, surround sound, and we're also going to use it as a venue for other cultural events and activities. So that's going to be a real exciting time when that opens, and it's really world class. The new planetarium star ball has a pit that it goes below the sight line. It goes down into a pit six feet deep uh, below the sight line so that we can see if there's a stage up front, people can see the stage. Our planetarium has three major components, star projector, full dome video, and surround sound. A lot of planetariums just use the video. Our star ball allows us to do live lectures. We can do the night sky as it looks here in Huntington. And then we also have a telescope, so you can go out and actually see the sky uh, after the lecture. We can tailor programs to the group. Uh, we have very talented people working in the Vanderbilt Planetarium, uh, and it's going to be world class. So we have the video that has uh, programs in it, and then we can also do live programs with a star projector or a combination thereof. And the surround sound it makes you feel that when a spaceship takes off that you're actually sitting in that spaceship and you can feel the vibration and the rumbling. It's just a really uh, exciting experience to feel the vibration and to be immersed in this dome where you're surrounded by video and you're surrounded by the stars and you really feel that you're traveling in space. And if you have any motion sickness, uh, you're going to feel that also. The planetarium is still undergoing renovations and is scheduled to reopen in March. For more information, you can check out VanderbiltMuseum.org. Chris Calora reporting, Long Island Online News.